615, welcome back. Live shot from Century Plaza Hotel and Spa here on the 15th of September, Tuesday morning. Thanks for waking up with us. Susie Wall, our Chatelaine style expert, has been doing all kinds of research at the Toronto International Film Festival. She has a full report for us. Joining us from Toronto, good morning, Susie. We're talking style. Hey. We are talking looks. Where is Susie? Can we see Susie? There she I'm is. Here. Good morning. <laughs> Sun is shining I in Toronto. I miss you guys. Hey, we miss you too, but we set you there for good reason. And uh, you've got the uh, star power covered. What are you, what are you seeing? What are you loving? Uh, let's start with Naomi Watts. Yeah, there's been some fantastic fashion here. And you know what? A lot of stylists and stars caught off guard because it was a little chilly and rainy these past few days. Um, but Naomi bringing it in Balmain. Uh, we saw her rocking uh, V&A on one of her carpets, some pink and red. You know, just beautiful, beautiful um, fashion from beginning to end from her. And such a lovely woman, truly a bright light on the red carpet and great to chat fashion with and very self-effacing too. Um, another a, a big winner for me was Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, who was here for I Saw the Light with Tom Hiddleston. Uh, that was a carpet that was crazy, rabid fans. Um, and she looked fantastic. She was wearing a, a little known designer named Juan Carlos Abundo. And what I loved about her on the carpet was she didn't even know who she was wearing. She turned to her publicist or some handler and was like, who, 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 who is this? She looked gorgeous, <laughs> like a true movie star there. I, she's so tall too, Riaz. I don't know how we got this good angle. She's literally two feet taller than me. But so charming, um, so humble. I asked her, obviously her fashion pedigree, right? This is Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's sister. Elizabeth and James, the clothing line is named for her and their brother. Uh, and she said, yeah, I'm wearing some of their stuff, but you know, I don't know. I mean, she's really all about the art, but she's not obnoxious about uh, and not wanting to talk about fashion. She will. She just is the first to admit that it's not her first love, but man, it should be given the way that she looked. Amazing. Modest about fashion, but all about the movie. I know that one had uh, great hype. Yeah. Now, Kate Mara, I'm a big fan of Kate. What did she bring on the red carpet. 10 out of 10. She brought it, Riaz, with that cute little pixie cut. Makes me want to cut my hair for a day. She looked amazing. Uh, we saw her in several uh, looks. Uh, here was uh, Valentino at her Martian premiere, which was cool. It was kind of ornate and theatrical and outer space y. I thought she looked lovely. We also saw her in a, a cutout ALC red pantsuit. She's taking fashion risks. She's standing out. I love that matte red lip. She's as cute as a button. Lovely woman. Also saw her in head to toe plaid, which we we have talked a lot about as hot for fall on BT Vancouver. Uh, so she was another 10 out of 10 for me. Very cool. Okay, we've talked about the ladies. What about the guys? We saw yesterday at a press conference. Be careful when it comes to Tom Hardy and your questions, but style. Let's talk about Tom and his style. Tom Hardy rolled with me and my questions, Riaz. I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> he was a true man of style. He was wearing uh, almost like a wool uh, jacket on the carpet the night of Legend. I was at this premiere. Wow, was he a sharp-dressed man. And you just got the feeling that he was ready to go bare-knuckle boxer on anybody that crossed his path that night. Uh, really tough guy, but a cool guy. And we're showing him here posing with fans because that's what the guy did for his entire time that was allotted for media, which I don't begrudge at all because this is a real man of the people and this shows that Toronto truly is the people's festival. He was out there in the rain. He didn't care that the personal umbrella handler was falling behind. He was sh signing, he was posing for selfies with people. Um, and by the time he got to press, you know, these guys have got to get inside, right? For their, They've got hundreds of people that have filed in to see the movie. So there is a very tight timeline on these carpets, as you well know. So by the time he got to us, there were only, you know, there were only a few minutes left, which I thought was such a cool reflection of the man. Well, I, I really dug that. Real nice hotel party. We only have about 30 seconds left, Suze, but what's a Toronto International Film Fest without George Clooney? Clooney in two words. How would you describe the look, the presence, the star power? Fresh laundry, because that's what he <laughs> smells like. So there you go for every woman watching. <laughs> I love George. You know, he was a bit of a surprise guest. Um, there he is supporting uh, Sandra Bullock. Uh, for our brand is crisis. He produced this film. So a lot of people are like, what a buddy. He shows up just to support Sandra. He was a producer on the film. So it's within his best interest to show up. We know he was in New York just a few days ago. So it was a hop over, but still great to see him nonetheless. And wow, did she ever look spectacular too. Let the research continue. Susie Wall, Chatelaine style expert. <laughs> Thanks for waking up. Thanks for doing this for us. Get back to work and we'll check in with you shortly. Get back to BT okay. Vancouver next week, by the way. See you soon. I'll see you then.